people vlog on and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time tuning in my name is Vanifa and welcome back to my channel <laughs> off of youtube for like two three months now i apologize about that hope you guys can forgive me but i'm back now back and better than ever so if you guys will like to support make sure you like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time i post another video and yeah let's just get into the topic at hand so as you guys can see by the title, today we are going to be talking about how to build an effective skincare routine. So basically, skincare one-on-one, -on -one, skincare functions, step-by-step. -step. So for those of you guys that don't know, I am a medical esthetician. So basically, I went to school to be a skincare specialist, an esthetician in the state of Florida. But what makes me more medical is because I also furthered my education and took a laser and electrolysis course, which are procedures that are done in a more medical setting. So with that being said, I think that I'm qualified to give you guys information about skin and how to build a effective skincare routine. So first up in a skincare routine is cleansing. So cleansing is the first step to any good skincare routine. Cleansing is basically cleaning, washing off all the dirt, the gunk off of your skin. I think the best way to go when choosing a cleanser is gentle cleanser. Water-based, oil-based, something that doesn't have a lot of ingredients, something that is very gentle because as we go further down the line of the steps, you might want to use harsher more chemical based products so it's best that you balance out the skincare routine by using a more gentle cleanser so after cleansing your face you want to exfoliate this face so that just brings us into step two which is exfoliating now exfoliating your skin helps your skin to keep very silky soft and smooth exfoliating your skin is basically taking off the first layer of the skin getting rid of the dullness the flakes the dead skin the buildup getting rid of the clogged pores that's basically what exfoliating does now there are three types of exfoliators physical exfoliators chemical exfoliators and mechanical exfoliators a physical exfoliant is basically a scrub sugar brush anything that you can physically feel on your skin a chemical exfoliant is anything that is chemical based that has acid in it now we all know that acid is a very powerful um, component when it comes to skincare and it can help move the dead skin cells without actually exfoliating like rubbing it off most chemical exfoliants has salicylic acid lactic acid or glyceronic acids these acids are great for removing dead skin hyperpigmentation dark circles and a whole lot of different skin disorders now a mechanical exfoliator is basically anything that requires a machine whether it's a laser facial or a microdermabrasion machine, anything that has to use a machine in order to remove the dead skin cells, the dark spots, the hyperpigmentation, which is the same thing, is what a mechanical exfoliation is. After you exfoliate, which is step two, you want to treat the skin, which is step three, treatment which is anything that have to do with helping to improve the skin, whether you're applying an eye cream or a toner or a serum or a mask, anything that has to do with treating the skin, whichever skin problems that you're having at the moment, step three is where you want to get those things done. So after step three, which is treatment, you want to moisturize, which is step four. Moisturizing your skin helps keep your skin hydrated and also help keep your skin strong and healthy in conclusion our last and final step which is protection the best way to protect your skin is using a sunscreen now i know a lot of melanated 
individuals don't like to use a lot of sunscreen because we are naturally protected because of our melanin and the deeper your skin tone the more protected you are but with the conditions of this world and the technology there is more people of color that are getting skin damage and skin cancers by the sun rays so it's very important to protect your skin not only can you get sun damage and illnesses from the sun but also from the light the artificial light this ring light that i'm using now your cell phone the tv the lights in your house you can also get a percentage of damage from these products so it's important to protect your skin with a sunscreen now if you're like me and you don't like to use chemical based or like products that you can't pronounce on your skin and you want to make sure that it is healthy and organic for you there's a lot of sunscreen out there that can work for you. There's the Black Girl Sunscreen, Two Peas, there's Coco Kind Daily. There's so many products that are coming out now that are good for darker skin tones and that don't leave white casts on our skin. So do your research before picking up a product and also do your research on all these other steps that I talked about so you know what products to use and what products will work for you in whichever skincare conditions that you may have. Also go ahead and see your dermatologists, your estheticians, your skincare specialists. Go ahead and see them, especially a dermatologist because they are the skincare doctor. So you should go ahead and check them out and get a skincare analysis so you can know what type of skin that you have and what products best work for you. So that is the end of my video. If you guys like this video, you found it very informative, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I post another video. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.